Cancer, welcome to your bonus reading for January. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So this is something new I'm introducing to the channel. This will be bonus readings for every sign. So we're going to do a little bit of everything. We're going to do love, life, advice, sort of like advice from spirit, angel, that kind of energy. And we'll see what we get for you for the month of January. So welcome in, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're having a great new year. Hope you had happy holidays. So, Cancer, let's see what we get here in your bonus reading for the month of January. For Cancer Spirit, please. Thank you so much. And Cancer, if you're new to my channel, you can check the description box below. Tons and tons of stuff down there. How to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. If you'd like to send a gift or donate or tip as an energy exchange, all that information is down below. So in your playlist are down below, love in general, in the description box. So please feel free to check that out. So let's get, let me move this over, card here for what's going on in love. Extra bonus reading for Cancer at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much for this bonus reading for Cancer and Love for January. So what do we have here? We have number 11. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck, we have 39. Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. So 39 is 12, which is 3, which is about um, coming people coming together, uh, working together, celebrating. Sometimes it means that also just working together. So you are stronger than you realize and be your authentic self. So this is about love. So whatever uh, your love situation is for... January is asking you to be strong enough to be your authentic self, to speak what you truly think, say how you truly feel, uh, be authentic with your person, be real, be truthful. And if you have a hard time expressing yourself or being honest, being truthful, especially in communication, it's asking you to uh, do that for the month of January, whatever your situation may be. We're going to clarify all this energy with the tarot. So let's get a little energy here for the life portion for this bonus reading for Cancer for January. So I do offer uh, Cancer all kind of readings on my channel if you are new. Uh, right now I, I have been doing um, a love connection, a singles, a general, and messages either from your angels or your spirit team. But I think I'm going to go back to just doing... Uh, bi-monthly or bi-weekly, whatever you want to call it, uh, love and general readings. So, and then I think I'm going to incorporate bonus readings in this style for all the signs monthly. So if you're interested in all that, uh, please do check out my channel if you like what you see. I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you want to check it out, if you like my style, how I read, my energy, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings, and if you do, thank you, thank you. So let's see what's going on in life. We got the five of Raphael. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. So this is the five of Pentacles energy. So yeah, five of Pentacles, or is this the five of Cups? Yes, that's the five of Cups. So the five of Cups talks about sadness, loss, um, and that kind of energy. So there may be something uh, you may have just lost or you're just feeling loss of sadness over something. It could be anything. This is pertaining to life. So it could be love. It could be a job. It could be friendships, uh, something with coworkers. We are feeling some sort of um, heartbreak, loneliness, sadness, uh, that kind of energy. But let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we got more cup energy, three of Raphael. Reasons to celebrate, a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships of children. So a lot of cup energy here. And that is your energy. So I feel like maybe if there was something, you know, maybe you were on the outs with somebody. Maybe there was a fight, an argument, or something like that. And, you, you know, and maybe 
you know, you're not talking to this person, there's been a separation, whether it was a friend, a coworker, a loved one, family member, a lover, who, whatever here. But I feel like with the three of uh, cups energy, that is about coming together, celebrating, rejoicing, reuniting. So I feel like there may be an opportunity here to come back together and have like a peaceful resolution, happiness, apologies, you know, celebrating, going out, having a good time, reuniting kind of energy. So that's a good energy. So let's see what Spirit's advice is for you for the month of January. What is Spirit's advice for the month of January for Cancer for this bonus reading? Thank you so much for this bonus reading for Cancer. What is the advice for Cancer for this? Whoa, that's way too many. Way too many. <laughs> All right, I just want one, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. All right, let's take that one. <laughs> Be strong. So we have two energies here of being strong and inner strength. So segment, be strong. You are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. Exactly. And we have that over here that I think whatever outs you've had with a person, place, or thing, that will be overcome. And there are uh, energies here of coming back together, reuniting, celebrating, having a good time. So that's good energy. So let's see what is on the bottom of the deck here. Mott, Matt, I'm not sure how you say that, fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Exactly. So, and this is the justice card. So I feel like whatever the situation was here, Spirit wants you to know that it will be a fair outcome. Justice will prevail. There'll be balance, truth, clarity, and just to be strong in the situation here. So let's see. Let's clarify this energy for you, Cancer, for this bonus reading. For the month of January, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. So I do uh, want to say a thank you to everybody who subscribed, all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have sent a gift, tipped or donated. However you support me in the channel, I truly, truly appreciate it. Could not do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. All right. So let's clarify love over here being authentic and being strong in a strength what is this energy and love for cancer for this bonus reading for january spirit please thank you so much so we have the nine of cups so we have wish fulfillment happiness and joy um which is coming true energy and then we have the ten of swords so this is about an ending Oh, painful, hurtful ending of some kind here. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Uh, that is Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, I mean, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, or this is just your energy of knowing your value, your worth. Um, and the nines usually are about uh, a single energy. So some of you, if you feel like you're in a relationship that's run its course, it may be time to be authentic. And the King of Pentacles is about being authentic. It's very honest, truthful, moral, just um, energy. It's uh, very secure, stable energy, uh, knowing value and worth. And the Nine of Cups is about, you know, wish fulfillment, self-fulfillment, happiness and joy. But the Ten of Swords is a painful ending. So... If some of you are feeling like it's time, knowing yourself value and worth and knowing it's time to be authentic, that maybe a situation has run its course, it's telling you to have that uh, inner strength to be authentic about this relationship or this situation. So that could be a message for some if that's not your case and it could be just ending of old ways and um, bringing uh, that honest, truthful energy back into this relationship so you could start new and have, you know, a new uh, fulfilling relationship, type of a uh, relationship with this person. Queen of Swords, yeah, open, honest, truthful communication here has to be had. Um, we have air energy here, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then we have the Magician, which is about a new beginning, manifesting a new beginning here. So I feel for some of you, you may be uh, ending a situation, finally being open and honest with your person, 
mustering up all your inner strength to say, you know, I think this has run its course. You know, I can't do this anymore. I'm ready to, you know, stand in my truth and manifest a new beginning for yourself because the nine is usually about independence and ma manifesting a new beginning for yourself. If that's not the case, it's just like a new beginning with your person with truth and clarity and bringing stability back into the connection, ending of old ways and manifesting a whole new relationship which will be wish fulfillment and uh, happiness and joy between the two of you. Being Now being authentic in this relationship. Justice. So again, I mean, some this could end up in divorce. We have uh, Libra energy here. Could be, could be divorce for some of you. I hate to say that, but, or this is just doing what's moral and just in this relationship and having that truth and clarity that we need to end ways of not serving this connection, being open and honest and authentic, being stable, ending of all ways, manifesting like a whole new beginning and having wish fulfillment and dreams wishes coming true so two different energies there so that's just take it how it resonates for you uh cancer this these messages just could be messages that you need to hear now doesn't necessarily mean uh they may actually come forth in january um could be just the energy and you may come back and watch this five months from now and maybe what you're going through five months from now or you could have already gone through this so Take it how it resonates for you. So let's see what this five of Raphael in life and the three of Raphael in life is for, for Cancer. So we have the nine of rods. So again, we have independent energy in the nine of rods, but that's also being uh, the wounded warrior. You know, you've been through it, but you keep fighting, keep going on when need to, because there is healing here. And I have felt that with the three of cups, healing and overcoming some sort of... Um, you were on the outs with somebody, fight, argument, feeling that sadness and loss without that person. Like I said, could be person, place, or thing, family, friend, coworker, lover, whatever it is here, healing the situation, wanting to keep fighting for this. Yeah, three swords. So that is the pain, the heartache situation. It doesn't have to be third party for some, it could be, but it doesn't have to be a person. It could be anything anyone does too much of that affects. A relationship a relationship can be anything like I said co-worker friend family lover and three third party can be person place or thing um, or obsession addiction or spending too many time too much time with friends family co-workers playing too many video games or could be another person so let's see here the world so ending out cycles here starting a new cycle Okay, let's see what else here. Queen of Rods. So fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. Three of Cups. So we got Three of Cups on the Three of Cups. So it could be, it could have been a third party or it could have been, like I said, anything. Doesn't have to be a person, you know, if somebody works too much or um, maybe they travel too much with the world energy, you know, and there's a lot of separation between the two of you. And maybe this person or you, somebody travels too much for work, for I don't know, whatever reason. And, um, you know, the Queen of Rods goes after what they want. A lot of king or queen doesn't matter. That's uh, Leo Sag Aries. So, I mean, and we got Aquarius there. So it could be, you know, maybe they travel too much, feeling the separation, the pain. Now coming back together, reuniting, having a good time, healing the situation. Um Closing out a chapter, starting a new chapter. So maybe, you know, they're going to stop traveling um, so it can heal this uh, connection. If it's not traveling, and it doesn't have to be like overseas, it could be just around, you know, around the States or something like that energy. But I, I do feel like something will be overcome here and there'll be healing, especially with the star energy, people coming back together, uh, mending and reuniting. And celebrating all right so over here we have be strong in fairness so we have ace of pentacles so stable new beginning here for you cancer uh could be a new job could be money coming in it could be um a job offer it could be starting your own business it could be uh feeling abundant um it could be a new purchase big purchase of some kind also so what do we have here we have the hangman so things were on a break, a pause here for a while. Three of Pentacles. Um, 
Again, teamwork, collaboration, working together. So you be, could be starting a new job or wanting to start a new job or looking into starting a new job or waiting for a job offer to come in. It comes in, you know, you were waiting for quite a long time here and now it comes in. You're learning something new with the Three of Pentacles energy. Six of Rods, very successful energy here. So feeling um, accomplished, successful. That could be the offer coming in on the rod there with the wreath. devil so we got toxic energy here so let's see let's get one more knight of swords so that's kind of rushing in rushing out uh gemini libra aquarius we got capricorn with the devil energy we got cancer pisces that's your energy i feel like you've been waiting for either a job offer or something like that comes in now you're working uh mastering something new Six of Rods, I feel like that's success and victory overcoming toxic energy. It could be a past job you are at now or you were at, like rushing out of that situation, now rushing into a new situation. Be careful of that energy that you don't become uh, kind of like a rebel without a cause or reckless or do something you regret. But that Knight of Swords energy is very fast. Sometimes you do things without thinking. And that could be also that toxic energy with the devil. So be careful of that energy if you're starting something new here that you don't do something you'll regret later. Bottom of the deck, page of pentacles, exactly. This actually could be the job offer coming in, some good news coming in, learning something new uh, in the beginning stages here. Something you're gonna commit to with the Hierophant energy here. You may be a little nervous and stressed about this, but the lovers here, uh, you could be starting over, like I said, with a lover here. And just about choices, choosing this new direction could be with the job. Here's apologies with the page of cups could be with this lover over here or something new coming in. And again, taking fast action movement forward with the chariot energy. And here's your energy with the king of cups, king of queen, doesn't matter. Feeling um, just love, compassion, peaceful, harmonious, uh, caring, giving, nurturing kind of energy. So, so, yeah, I said doesn't matter, queen of cups, king or queen of cups. And now we got the queen under that. So yeah, I feel like being really being in your energy, moving forward, could be that offer coming in or just apologies with people here, making choices to come back together, then stress and anxiety, but now either committing to a relationship here, committing to a new journey, committing to new friendships, and again, something stable coming in for you, um, cancer for the month of January or whatever energy in the uh, months coming forward. Wow, Cancer. Okay, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.